I want to show you the future. These are robots, and some are still being developed. I'm Lindsay Mastis, and I cover artificial intelligence and cool tech, and I am highlighting three of the most impressive robots, including one that I picked. Watch it. I found them all in Las Vegas during the Consumer Electronics Show, CES. Let me know in the comments which ones you would like for yourself. First, take a look at these mini robot dogs. They will say hello to everyone. Chihu Kang, who goes by the nickname Tiger, says the company he co-founded, Hungbot Innovation Limited, specializes in these cute little robot dogs. We are trying to make it small and more cool and interesting to play with. So I've got the controller right here and I'm going to be able to make it move and maybe even bark. It, it takes a moment to get a hang of it. Oh my God, I did it again. Sorry. Tell me why you wanted to develop this uh, pers like personally. That's a long story, but uh, mainly it's based on uh, a, a dream that uh, will build a robot universe. Uh, so we are, we are trying to make a robot uh, real in our society and in our human's life. Very, very light. He's really cute. I could totally see how both adults and kids would really love Sirius here. Anyone can play with them, but if you're into programming, you might have more fun. But we are trying to give it, to provide it to the developers, so you can, they can programming or use other ways to control. Are you happy to be at CES? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going from mini to mighty. I about had a heart attack when I saw this robot dog getting picked hey, get over back. and over again. Wow, it's taking a beating here. Okay. It's designed to do that? Um, yes and no. This robotic dog is called X30, and it is rugged. I'm gonna try to kick him. I don't wanna kick him. You want me to kick him? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna kick him. Okay, here we go. I was in Taekwondo. It's pretty well balanced. We use it as an inspection robot. So you will put some expensive instrument on the back when you don't want the platform fall down, and hence damaging the instrument in the back. Junji Shon from Deep Robotics says it works in different conditions. It can be a surveyor, do inspections, or even help find missing people. It has a camera, so it's able to see me. You can just put a strobe light and speaker in case helping you to rescue someone lost in the forest. And it's up to us, humans, to tell it what to do. And I was encouraged to try it out by standing on top of it. So I'm going to stand on the robot. Yep. And here and we go. It's going to lift me up. Okay. Stand up. Wow. Holy cow. <laughs> Look at this. Yes. Wow, so there's definitely a different view up here. I can see a lot more. So if I were on the job and I needed to inspect something, I could see where this would help me see things that I wouldn't be able to see without a ladder. And finally, a robot that could one day help you around the house. Ooh, I like this. It can be used in homes. It can pick and grab things. It can move things. It can be your uh, domestic assistant. It can help you clean dishes or even do laundry. Abhi Gupta, co-founder of Open Droids Robotics, says that they have to do calibrations for each task, but says after that, it'll operate on its own. After that, it's just a piece of cake. Why did you want to build a robot like this? Uh, I think it's been a dream, a passion. How do we solve the problem for the world? With, with technology, and we realize that robotics is gonna transform the entire universe. He's really cute, too. I, <laughs> it's really adorable. Like, I, I'm not intimidated at all right. by being in front of him. They call this one R2-D3. So this robot is designed to interact with humans, so that means, as a customer, I could come in and actually get something out of its hand. Uh, there's three cameras here on the two arms, and this one is the main camera. Right. So it will look into its environment, and then once you calibrate and program it, it will start doing the things that you expect it to do. So one of the most important features is to make sure that it's being trained to be gentle, because when it comes to food and other products, it has to be very careful to not use too much force. Thank you, R2-D3. He says they're in the testing phase and are already getting interest from some major food chains. So which one of these robots would you like to use? Tell me in the comments and subscribe to see more technology from the future.